Hey there, and welcome to this tutorial where we'll cover the official versioning feature in Workflows for Confluence. The official versioning feature goes beyond Confluence's native versioning, gives you the ability to select major or minor versions for a document depending on the changes that have been made. For example, you may want to change the major version of a document for some big changes, so you might want to go from a 1.0 version of the document to a 2.0. Or in other instances, you might have some minor changes, so actually it will only go from a 1.0 to a 1.1. And the official versioning feature allows you to do that within Workflows for Confluence. So in this short video, I'll show you how to set it up within the workflow itself, but also show you how to use it and you'll be able to see it in action too. So with that being said, let's jump in. So what you can see here is a Confluence page. Now I'll revisit this in a second and we'll add a workflow to the page. But first we need to jump into the site administrator settings and go and configure a workflow relating to the official versioning feature. So jump into site administration. On the left hand side, you need workflows. Just click into the workflows option like so. I'm not going to recreate a workflow from scratch. I'll use one that's already been created. I'll talk you through the process. So here we've created an official versioning workflow. And if I open this up, you'll be able to see it. So it's a really simple workflow, very few stages, but it has the official versioning actions included. So you can see with this workflow, it goes to a draft state. Then we get to the stage where we create the official version. And that's the point where we choose whether it's a major or a minor version. You always have to approve the official version. And this always has to fall after the create official version status. And then the final stage is published. So within the create official version, there isn't really any configuration to do. You just add this item in, you can drag it and drop it into the workflow like so. But then you just need to add the approved official version afterwards, like mentioned before. So your workflow, whilst it may look a bit more complicated than this, should have these two items in a linear fashion together. Okay, so now this workflow is ready to go. We'll just quickly save it and it's now ready to use. We'll jump back to that Confluence page and we'll apply the workflow. And the first status that appears is draft and this is what we saw just now. So now we're gonna click into this and I want to now move this to the next major version of a page. So we'll move it to the create official version status like so. And if I now open this, I will see that I am the owner of the page but I also have the ability to add a version description and then create a major or a minor version of this document. I will add in a version description and I will select create major version. Now here you'll see the description is effectively locked in, but I have the ability to, at this point, select if I want to proceed or if I want to go back. So I'll just go forward and proceed like so. This will now move the document to the next major version. Now, you'll notice that the workflow has progressed to publish. If I click onto this as well, I can see that this page is now at the current version like so. But if I click into the workflow info, I can see a few things. So I can see within the history that the official version has now been created. And you'll see that here with the 1.0. You'll also notice this runs side by side with Confluence versioning, which is great. So you can also use that as an additional kind of anchor point and, and referring back to the right version of a document. The official version description is included here. So I can open this and I can see exactly what was written by me. And then if this is progressed further and add extra major and minor versions, this will then increase over time and you'll have more visibility within the workflow history. And there we have it. That's a really quick run through of the official versioning feature. There is a lot that you can do with this feature. As I said, we use the relatively simple workflow, but you can use it in more complex and more bespoke workflows um, as you wish. We've made it pretty flexible. If you have any feedback, of course, do let us know. And just remember, we're here to help you get the most out of using workflows. So if you want to learn more about official versioning, or if you have any other questions about some of the features in the products, please be sure to check out our user guides by following the link that's shown on the screen. But if you have any questions or if you want to speak with a member of our team, just send an email to support at atfox.io and one of our customer support team will be happy to help. 